trying to take a nap. Cannot take a nap. <coughs> Jesus. Why does this always happen? I am exhausted. Like, this isn't even a joke. I'm freaking exhausted, dude. Like, I went to sleep. Or I tried to go to sleep. Um, <clears throat> around 5, 6 in the morning. Hi, Mama Cat. And... problem was was that before I tried to go to sleep I wound up passing out while watching some of my shows so I basically took a nap for probably an hour or two and now now I freaking I wake up like a little while ago it's like almost six o'clock in the evening I woke up like around four something and I woke up feeling like I got hit by a Mack truck. So, <laughs> oh my god. But look. Presents. Wow. Our nation's flag stuck up in a tree. If that ain't a metaphor for what's currently going on, stupid shutdowns. Crazy. I'm just getting to the block. Come to find a crap ton of cops right in front of the Coochie Frito. Thinking somebody, it might have been a brawl or somebody died or something. Come to find out it's because some girl got her purse stolen. I know you guys saw how many cops were in front of the damn coochies for a stolen purse what was in that purse
sort of think that uh, I would actually get uh, the prize that I was supposed to get a couple months ago from uh, Wix and the New York Yankees, and it came in the mail this week. An autograph, D.D. Gregorius Baseball. Sir Didi. He even put the, the Sir on the baseball and his uniform number. Freaking awesome, man. <laughs> I came in from work and this was just sitting on the table for me as soon as I walked in. I was surprised as all hell. <laughs> so I'm here just wrapping some gifts. I already got two of them wrapped. And right now I still got a small little pile of gifts right behind me. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor. I just, I'm, I'm mad because not all of my, uh, don't mind the mess back there. It's just like part of the gift wrapping process. Um, but yeah, I'm just mad because some of the stuff that I ordered, you know, for other people's gifts, not everything is coming before Christmas. It's already the 24th, technically. It's already Christmas Eve. Cause it's like 3 in the morning. But a lot of the gifts are coming on the 28th, on Friday. Whack. So here it is, Christmas Eve. And it's so warm outside. There's somebody out here without a coat. But on top of everything else, I gotta go make a mad dash and go pick something up. Last minute gift. Because of the fact that certain gifts just didn't come in the mail on time or aren't coming in the mail on time. So, I've gotta run. Wonderful. So how do you know it's Christmas? Well, it's Christmas Eve. How do you know it's Christmas? Well, I live right by the highway. And you would think that there'd be a lot of cars. In fact, I'm about a block up from the one of the busiest intersections in my neck of the woods. And yet, look at how many cars are going down that street. Not the street that's right in front of me. The next corner. Do you see, like, practically any cars in there? None. There's more cars on this street right here than there are on the actual, well, on the Bruckner. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, my goodness. So here I am, about to go on a bathroom break. You see how dead it is in here? Like, there's nobody here. But again, it's around Christmas time. Sometimes it gets this dead. Oh, and I found a pair of boots that fit me, but I had to fold them in half. Crazy, right? How you know I get down and dirty at the job. This is my sleeve. It's the back of my coat. <laughs> There's like five cars in this parking lot. I'm right in front of the job. I just got out of work. It is Christmas Day, about to be 3 o'clock in the morning, and I don't get to go back to work, or I should say, I don't have to go back to work until Wednesday night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, I have to send out an email for... 
good reason. TSJ business. For later on today. So I'm going to head home. I'm going to send out this email, change, have something to eat, and then go to bed. Because, well, it's Christmas time. Yeah. Oh, what a night. Late December here in 2018. Tonight's a very special time for me. Merry Christmas. Oh, what a night. Peanut butter and marshmallow sandwich. What you know about that? No. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, get your headphones! Oh, yeah? yeah. Nice, Jenny. I mean, Lori. I mean, uh, Nana. I got headphones yesterday, Nana. Family's finally out. Gotcha. I'm finally awake. Got it. Well, I can use them. And Nana, first of all, I'm putting her face on it. Giraffe card. Well, that's very easy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we got home for one hour. Wait, hold on. Chuck. Chucky. 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 Yeah, we did took an Uber. Katie got us an Uber. Hold the door. Merry Christmas, everyone. Wait, wait, let me. No. No. <laughs> No? Why are you running? No. Okay. Wait! <laughs> oh, now you gotta say, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I needed one of these. Awesome. It is the day after Christmas. <clears throat> and I woke up later than I wanted to. Normally I have an alarm set for myself, but for some reason I slept past it. And if I sleep past it, usually one of my relatives will wake me up, but... I'm in the apartment by myself. Well, I mean, minus the cats. I have enough time to make myself something to eat and take a shower. Perfect. This again. Mama. <sighs> She's going into heat again. So, it's looking like my plans for New Year's are kind of in danger. For the first time in a couple of years, it looks like I might be working on New Year's. I think I'm going to have to figure something out. I don't like to break tradition. It is 6.30 in the morning. I still haven't gone to sleep. 
I don't want to go to sleep hungry. So I came out here to get myself a sandwich. I'm out here in my pajamas. <laughs> I mean, I picked up like three things for the house. So it's not like I came out here just for myself. But I came out here for myself and for the family. I also had to take care of another expense. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I'm going to munch. I'm going to relax. I'm going to go to sleep and then wake up feeling refreshed. morning y'all stomach feels like hell right now and I'm still going in Ugh. feels like feels like I'm gonna hurl but then it doesn't feel like I'm gonna hurl like it just feels like I got the bad gas inside my stomach oh I couldn't even finish the freaking day. I left early. You can see I still got my hairnet on, but I also still got the sleeves on underneath my hoodie. Because I felt, ugh, my freaking stomach felt like crap. It's so bad that I even left the company with the boots on. left for my galoshes on and yes that's a nightclub right behind me called the living room I want to go there one day I want to check it out but right now I'm going home to freaking rest Ugh. no she was mad talkative just now And now she wants to be quiet. Of course she does. I'm still home with a messed up stomach. What? No. No. She's in heat, by the way.